Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. Mark's handling the camera today, as always. Hey, Todd. Hey. So we've got three machines here that we've chosen to show you. All these are heat exchanger machines, and there's different price ranges, but we thought this is a good idea to kind of take a look at three different brands and see how they compare. Not so much looking at price, but just more to give you an idea of how they work, and you can decide if you need to go up and spend the extra money to get a machine, or if you're happy with a lesser cost machine. Mm -hmm. So here's what we'll do. We'll start with this here. Well, I think she's beautiful. You do. I, I do. I do. I do like this machine. It wouldn't fit in my house, but, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but I think it's Galatea Domas. And that's a Bezerra. Bezerra, yep. And, uh, and that's how it's spelled. Yeah. <laughs> Very unique machine. Very finely made. Just the whole way this is made. The, the corners here and the style of all this. It does have some, some style. She is top notch. I, uh, I like it. And then the valves, you don't see, you don't see a lot of valves kind of raised yep. up like that. Yeah, here. very unusual, but also they work quite well. Yeah. And uh, I'll get into it later, but I do like this long steam one. And I know you like the steaming power of this on it. Yeah, on it, one, it really rocks. Yeah. Uh, it does blast the pressure out pretty quickly, but that's okay, because by oh. the time you're done, it's already finished frothing. Right. Yep. Uh, over here, we have the ECM Technica 4, not the Profi. This is just a vibration pump machine. I shouldn't say just a vibration right. pump machine, but this is, they're all vibration pump machines. And this over here is the Exo Bar Office lever, which is also a vibration uh, pump machine heat exchanger. So this is probably the least expensive. Mm -hmm. These are pretty close, These right? are pretty close, yep. Yeah. So as you kind of notice, they all have the E61 brew group. Mm -hmm. They all have the lever for brewing. Raise the lever up to start the brewing. Push it down to stop it. They all have two gauges, one showing your brew pressure and your steam pressure. There's your steam, there's your brew. And just so happens these all have them up top where you can see them. Yep. And uh, let's see, what else do they all have? They all have pretty good sized drip trays. Axel Bar has a giant drip tray. That is huge. Yep. You know, swimming in that thing almost. Yeah. <laughs> do, do a backstroke. If you're little. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I guess it's, they're not all that exciting, but yeah. that is nice to show you if you are considering the machines what they're like. Now they all they all have the E61, but you know we know the Expo bars is just yeah. a little different. The Expo bars done a little something to make theirs different, unique. What they've done is they've hollowed out this area here, it acts as a pre-infusion chamber. So when you raise your lever up to brew, water comes out of the center here, hits the shower screen, and then it backs up, fills us up and then the water slowly starts to pressurize on top of the coffee. And when we brew, you'll see that actually in action. And we're gonna, we're gonna brew and steam on all these yeah. kind of towards the end of the video. Yeah, we'll do that a little bit steam later. Steam all in action. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now on these two machines, the ECM and the Exobar, you can actually change the brew pressure from outside the machine. You don't have to go inside. Right. Not something you would normally have to do, but if you decide you want to do it, inside there, there's a little s a screw hole there. You can put your uh, screwdriver in there and just turn that clockwise to raise, counterclockwise to lower. And the way you'd know what to do is you would put your uh, back foot disc in your handle, mm -hmm. raise the lever as the pressure builds up on your pressure gauge over here. You'd want to get the 10 bar with the back flush disc in place. And that actually gives you then nine. Which Na is why, yeah, correct. Nine, at the nine while you're brewing. While so you're brewing. nine with of flow of yeah. about two ounces and 25 seconds. That's, right. how, that's how we do it. Okay. The ECM, you have a screw up there that you can turn to do the exact same thing. And the Bezerra, uh, you can't do it from the outside, but if you ever want to go inside, that's all adjusted with this right here. Just turn this out to lower the pressure, turn it in clockwise to raise the pressure. But they come to you all set and ready to go, so you shouldn't have to mess with that. Uh, let's see, I think Mark, just, let's take a good close look at all the housings. Yeah, so yeah, they can get a really a good quick look at that one, but get a really, really good feel. Really fine detail work there. Mm -hmm. The rounded and wrapped and highly polished corners. Yeah. Kind of the same treatment over here on the uh, ECM. The ECM Technica, which has all those rounded corners. And then you know a little, a little different on the Expo bar. Yep, different look. Still highly <laughs> polished, but. Yep doesn't have those wrapped edges yeah, on the corner. They don't spend the money on making all those fancy, nice, rounded corners. Right. But it's a really, you can think of, see how thick the housing is, and that's yeah. about the same thickness as a quarter. Right. So it's, uh, it's pretty heavy-duty. Yeah. 
And what about the, uh, the wands? We got... Uh, okay. We have a no burn steam wand on the Expo Bar, mm -hmm. and it works pretty good. I always love the way you test those. Yeah, you got to test them okay. just to make sure I'm not making a mistake. <laughs> and here's on the ECM. Oh, that's not a no burn. That's not a no burn. And, and this one I know. Yeah. You can tell by it's, th it's thin. Thin, yeah. So it's okay. Not. So no burn steam wand, and all of them have, uh, or these two machines have burn style. I shouldn't call it that, but just they have hand grips. Hand so, grips. And then the, all the hot water wands are just standard hot water wands. They're not no burns. Right. Now, port filter comparison. Uh, the extra bar, which is this one. And then we have the uh, ECM over here. Mm -hmm. uh, you notice this is the angled port filter so that it leaves your filter basket relatively level. Right. And that's this is not angled, that's the, uh, that's the Bezerra. Okay. Not a big deal again, but just manufactured to do it different ways. And then like on the, on the uh, ECM there, they've got the details they always have, the little, the, uh, on the ends of the port oh, yeah. filter and... Oh, yeah, yeah it's, oh, I see what you're saying, yeah, over here. A little extra detail. Yep. Yeah. That makes it nice. And they, they feel yeah. good in your hand, too. I do like the feel on that. You know, these are good, too. They're standard. But this has a little extra, a little I think extra, a little niceness. A little extra <laughs> something it. to hold on to there. Yeah. Right? So do you want to take a yeah. quick look inside? Oh, we got yep. yeah, we got them open. Same order over here, all the machines. Yep. Okay. This is the Bezerra, and that's got a 2-liter boiler on it. It's copper. Uh, it's coated. Mm -hmm. The And here is the, uh, the ECM over here. As a 2.1 liter, it's 1,200 watts over here. The Bezerra is 1,450 watts. Mm -hmm. Then we have the extra bar, it's a 1.7 liter, and that's 1,250 watts. And this is an all copper boiler. Now, in the ECM, you notice there's no Teflon tubing or rubber tubing at all. Right. All copper or braided stainless steel. Mm -hmm. On the, uh, uh, the Bezerra and on the extra bar, we do have some Teflon tubing, that the tubing that runs from the pump over towards the boilers. That's done for a couple reasons. First of all, it cuts vibration down. When the pump moves, you don't pick up a lot of quieter. vibration. Yep. Yep. So that's okay. And yep. the same thing with the actual bar. You can't really see it back there. You just have to trust me, I guess. Yeah. Let's see you can find it. Back in there. Yep. Yeah, there you go. You got it. <laughs> and there's a stainless steel line, which serves the same function. It's right. flexible, so it picks, uh, dampens any vibration. Mm -hmm. uh, they all have pressure stats. There's the one on the... I'm getting kind of Bezerra, Bezerra. The ECM. And the one on the actual bar, they put a little cover on top to keep any steam that gets inside the machine off of it. Are they all using the same type of pressure staff there? Uh, uh, they, there's some different types that they use, but they okay. all pretty much do the same thing. Right. And what's nice about all these machines is they have a nice, the frame goes all the way through them. So front to back, front to back. one yep. solid frame. Correctly. And in the actual bar's case, it's stainless steel. So they can, you can ship them. They're pretty shippable. Yeah, they stand up. Yeah, they, they hold up well to that. Okay. Even if I say like the UPS uh, gorilla, like, I don't know if you ever saw that commercial back in the day. Yep. But uh, we do pack them good, so you'll get them in one piece. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's a brief on them. Yeah. So I'll show you what the, the difference is between them. And I thought probably what we should do is brew and steam with them. So we'll, see, we'll see, see what, what all three do. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll cut here for a minute. I'll fill the porta filters up, then we'll come back, and we'll just brew and steam. On each one, you can see the steam power and hear the pumps and get a feel for the whole machine. Beautiful. Okay, we'll be back. All right, so we're back, and Todd, you're going to do like Olympic class power latte making here, right? <laughs> you could call it that. Okay. Or we're just going to brew and steam on each one of the machines so you can take a look and see what it looks like. Okay. Okay? We'll try, I know it uh, could be a long video, but we're just going to try and blast through it. Yeah, okay. Hey. Porter filters are all set. I use the same grinder for each machine, so uh, didn't dial it in each for each one. We just need to get it done. Yep. And it's, this is mainly about the steam pressure. So. So this is office lever. Yep. Single hole steam tip. Yep. Single hole steam tip. Very easy tip to use too. I like it. And notice that the brew pressure on the axle bar is building up very slowly here, like we were talking about. Got a little chamber up in the 61. That's yep. It has to fill first and drip mm -hmm. down. And then I'm going to, with all of them, I'll just feel the pitcher. I'll get up to about 140 degrees so they can judge the timing that way. Yep. That 
it's not your favorite cup, right? Nah, but... You gonna make it work? It'll work. Okay. One down. Now the Technica. Yep, okay. ECM Technica Profi. Or not, ECM Technica. Not the Profi. Yeah, Technica 4, not the Profi. The Profi has the rotary pump. Whoop. Well, I'll put a cup in there, huh? Yeah, yeah, a cup in there. And that's a two hole steam chip on this one? Yep. Similar steam pressure. When you can listen to the pump, you can hear the sound that it's making. Okay, now you're hearing the extra bar next yeah. next door filling up. Doing a little refill. Can you hear that, do you think? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh oh, might overflow. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just a hair. Okay. okay. So that they took about the same amount of time to froth. Now you kind of like the steam power on this one. Yeah, this is unique. Um, it has more power. It's a four-hole steam tip, and look at the wand on this. Yeah. I do like how it stretches way out here. Um, so they've done a fairly nice job with this machine of balancing yep. it out yep. as far as uh, brew temperature and steaming performance. Huh? Yes, they you have. can tell it starts a little more um. Yeah, they're going to go. Just by the sound, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much that was, done already. That was pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fast. They've done a really nice job of balancing the steam pressure and the brew temperature on this machine. Yeah. I noticed by, uh, now I definitely have, don't have the greatest froth on this one. Very, very thick, but it'll make a nice, uh, nice cappuccino. Yeah. It's like you got to know your machine too, and that's just. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I very. I don't get the steam on a machine like this very often. Right. Uh, but either way, you can, as you can see, it'll take more practice. Yeah. At least I feel it will on a machine that steams like this. Well, and that's a four hole, right, on that yeah. one? Yeah, it's a four hole, and with these, it steams slower. You have more time uh, right. to stretch your milk, and to work on your technique. Yep. But uh, overall, uh, that's the machines. Three awesome machines. Mm -hmm. uh, get to know them, and they'll brew great for you, and they'll steam great for you, and they'll be reliable. So I, I would definitely highly recommend any of these. So um, Todd, with a whole lot of love, Mark behind the camera. Thanks very much for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee? Brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Whole